um, but so proud of the group to get 16 points from 27 games, from 27 uh, from nine games is a phenomenal return considering where we were uh, I would have thought a handful of individuals thought we could have done it but we've done it and uh, this is as great an achievement as a promotion it really is over a shorter period of time as I mentioned yesterday in my press but what a wonderful achievement so proud of the group well look I hope so I'm not going to stand here and, and be bold and think that I built something here and, and I did build it and, and I was so we built something me the board the, the, the staff and the players we built something special here um, I veered from that and went and chased personal glory rather than the collective here which I apologize for I've been very I don't know what the word is but very apologetic about that and uh, and, and, and so on but now I've come back I've, I've been humble enough to come back but it was the right decision I think it was the right decision for the club and, and definitely the right decision for me so now we can continue the journey so now we can continue to build what we started so if you call it redemption or you and if we wipe to stay clean brilliant so hopefully God willing in, in uh, September where we start fans will be back in heaping praise on you but I'm sure you'll be the first person to throw it back at them because they've given you everything this season oh, give me absolutely everything absolutely everything and what makes me so proud of them is that along the way here it's been rocky and it's been times when we've we've had some real disappointment I, I remember walking off of Brentford and I remember the fans being really upset and they were they were unhappy and it was a tough time for me and the team and there's been times also when the team have had some bad results this this football club and this team only 15 15 months ago lost a lot of football matches and from the outside people see that and they can judge that and I understand that you lose a lot of football matches you concede a lot of goals you get relegated and from the outside that's what you see and I understand that but what you don't see from the outside is some gaping wounds what were there um, not just in the team but in the whole football club and I I, I, I challenged we took on this year knowing the expectation was to go up clearing this division by 20 points and go up automatic but I also had to try and manage and understand that I need to try and slowly build up confidence I have to try and build up a, a mentality I have to try and build a football club and a football team on but also great responsibility to be the to be the manager of such a big club because and it's a simple tap in what a what a great start this is exactly the start that we wanted and we've got so oh, come on I think he's the best well prepared manager I ever seen in my life. Marcelo was like my football father. We do a thing called murder ball. <laughs> Toughest session I've ever done in my life. When you pick up the phone, you already watched seven games of Leeds United. thinking about is how can I make the, the players better and the, and the team better. Um, it was not like every single day I'm only preparing the team to win on a Saturday. So it was not because, of course, the most important thing is to win on a Saturday. I know that that's what I'm finally be judged by, how many games are we winning. I always look with my eyes first. And if my eyes are happy, then I'm usually also happy when I check the numbers. Um, if my eyes are not happy, <laughs> then usually it's because there's a reason. But um, I think also it's, a, as you said, a, a reminder and a, as a signal that we are doing something really extremely good. I don't think there is, I don't know this, but there is any club in the championship 
we had that profit we had of you know buying and selling players the last three four years so something we must do something with.